this video, we're going to look at how to write an equation of a parallel line. All right, so first of all, we need to understand something about parallel lines. In a coordinate plane, two distinct non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope, right? So that's key there. They have to have the same slope. Um, and now also we see any two vertical lines are also parallel, right? So we know a vertical line, the slope is undefined. Uh, so we kind of just have a little bit of an, an extra side note there. Any vertical lines are parallel, okay? So we're going to talk about how to write an equation of a line that's parallel uh, to another line that passes through a given point, okay? So here's how we're going to do that. We're just going to look at one example. It says write an equation of the line passing through the point negative 4, 6 that is parallel to y equals 3x minus 4. So we need to understand a little bit about slope-intercept form, right? We have y equals mx plus b, and m is our slope right? So this equation y equals 3x minus 4 is already written in slope intercept for us, so we know that the slope is 3. So according to our theorem about slopes of parallel lines, the slope of our line that we need to write also needs to have a slope of 3. Okay, so our line right now, we can say y equals 3x plus b, all right? Now, thinking back to slope intercept form, b represents our y intercept. Well, at this point, we don't have a graph, so we can't see this graph, this line being graphed. So we can't see where the line crosses the y-axis, so we have to calculate it ourselves. Well, also in slope-intercept form, x and y, these just stand for any coordinate that is on our line. So we see we have a negative four comma six, so we can take those two numbers and plug them in for x and y in our equation right here. That will allow us to solve for b, and then we can take that value of b, plug it into our equation here, and we found our parallel line. All right, so x is negative 4 and y is 6. So I'm going to say 6 is equal to 3 times negative 4 plus b. So now I just solve here. 3 times negative 4 would be negative 12 plus b. We're trying to solve for b, right? So we need to get b by itself. So let's add 12 to both sides, and we get 18 is equal to b. So B is 18. So now we can take this and plug it right there in for B in our equation, and we'll have our final equation. So we have Y equals 3X plus 18. And that line would be parallel to Y equals 3X minus 4 because they have the same slope and they have different Y-intercepts. And that's how you write an equation of a parallel line.